Hello and welcome to another FX Centrum daily market analysis. Uh, for today, I will go for our cross asset list. I will cover coffee market, uh, WTI, US 100, USD Japanese yen, uh, pound dollar, euro dollar, US 30, gold, dollar index, and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will be I will begin with the coffee market, and um, I will use the FX Centrum platform for analysis. So on the coffee market here, we have a daily time frame and uh, we have a Bollinger Band. So nothing really changed since last week. Uh, coffee is still trading inside of the um, uh, trading range uh, between the support around 180.90 mark and resistance around 197.92. We have the upper Bollinger Band around 192 and lower Bollinger Band around 182. Middle Bollinger Band around 188. So what we had uh, on Friday is uh, just to test and reject the middle Bollinger Band, but I'm still waiting for the breakout of either support or resistance in order to confirm like a bigger uh, directional move. So in case the downside breakout of a 180.90 mark, there will be a chance for a drop towards 175.80 mark or even a bigger drop towards the 165.50 mark. Position of stochastic oscillator, we have a we had a fresh bear cross a couple of trading days ago. The fast line is sloping to the downside and the slow line is pretty neutral around the 50 mark. So we have a neutral stance at this point. In case the upside breakout of resistance in this tail and pin bar at 187.82, there will be a chance for the rally towards a 200 free mark. Now let's take a look at our WTI. So this was the, um, our trading idea from a few weeks ago. Um, it's pretty progressing pretty well. So we we are holding above this one uh, eighty, let's say eighty one mark. So this eighty one mark was a key pivot. You can see different swing highs here, 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 and here, and market is holding um, above that level and it's just around this upper Bollinger Band. We can see here that the slow line is sloping to the upside. It turned to the upside with a fast line. Uh, it's also tra also tra trading upside. If we take a look at the, let's say, hourly time frame or so, we can see that um, we have the resistance um, and upper Bollinger Band at around 81, uh, 60 mark. And um, I would like to see the breakout of that level and the market can hold above to confirm further directional move. Position on the four hour time frame, the upside, the middle of Bollinger Band is sloping to the upside, but this, this could be also just a, like a temporal uh, pullback or more like a bull flag. So I don't see any major sign of weakness yet at this point. So the upside objective point uh, is 83.60. And then the next one will be a you know, bigger upside objective is at 89.70 mark. In case of the pullback and um, a downside day, um, the Friday's low around, uh, I will say 79.70 mark can be in the play. And middle Bollinger Band overall at this point is set around 79 mark. Now we have um, yes, 100 and we had a down break. Let's just zoom in this one. So we had a down break of this consolidation. It took like seven to eight days to develop. Uh, market drop towards the lower Bollinger Band. So let's place a trend line there. So it's a 17,774. And we, we have so far some reaction um, early in the morning. But to look at the slow line and the fast line and sloping to the down side where the slow line is just around the 50 mark. So if we can see like the, from my perspective, there is a chance for a bigger down break on US 100. Uh, we can see the sign, sign uh, uh, we broke this multi-day uh, bracketing market. But then the next step will be for market to break this uh, Friday's low and the lower Bollinger Band around 17,745. And this will be a good confirmation for the further drop uh, towards the 17,340. And then uh, let's see, we we'll also have this area here around 17,170 mark. Now let's take a look at, for example, hourly time frame. You can see that we are in the pullback on the four hour time frame, the middle of Bollinger Band is sloping to the downside. So we have pretty much um, 
now uh, bigger volatility relative to this area so volatility is increasing hourly time frame seems like a just uh, a regular pullback overnight and uh, we can see here the hourly is trying to contract at this point so we'll expect expansion later in the US session so there is still a chance for a bigger downbreak on US 100 pay attention to that a potential idea now we have USD Japanese yen so uh, let's take a look at the daily time frame um, I alerted as soon as we as soon as, as soon as the USD yen return has returning to the Bollinger Band here after this extension there was a chance for the market to go towards middle Bollinger Band and here we are exactly around that middle, middle Bollinger Band at 149.16 trading for a couple of trading a couple of sessions in a row we're trading to the upside in the US Japanese yen uh, volatility is still high uh, we have we don't have this contraction so we can we see the fresh bull cross the fast line is sloping to the upside where the slow line is just starting uh, and turning into the upside from pretty much like a 20 level which is more like um oversold area the four hour time frame market is holding very well around this upper bollinger band so we don't have any major sign of weakness um hourly time frame we can see this contraction so we'd like to see the break of 149 uh point let's say 35 because we can see this market is trying to contract the last few hours and Potential upside break can lead uh, lead even uh, use the end higher, and then the next pivot level will be uh, 150 1.60 mark, and then uh, this uh, upper Bollinger Band so far at 151.74. And we have a British pound versus US dollar. So after the extension above the um, upper Bollinger Band there was a pullback there was a middle Bollinger Band but there was no significant reaction of this middle Bollinger Band so market just uh, are doing some stagnation and had some uh, narrow day on Friday so I think the downside break of 1.274 uh, 1.2724 uh, can be a good sign for a further downside movement and uh, the downside objective I will say lower Bollinger Band around 1.2600 mark will be a downside objective short term in case the downside break here um let's look at a four hour time frame there was a down break after this contraction um but no really reaction from buyers and hourly time frame you can see here clear down break and just uh, re natural pullbacks here now another contraction so we can see a break of the 1.2723 there will be a chance for a further downside move on the on the British pound versus the dollar. In case of the reaction higher, then the price is high around 1.2757 can be the upside objective for the some intraday uh, bullish environment if we can switch and change behavior this morning. But so far, seems like there is a more room for the downside in the next period. Euro dollar is pretty much similar to the pound dollar, so we had a down move towards the middle of Bollinger Band on the daily time frame, and we had a narrow day uh, on Friday, so 1.0900 area is a uh, high of the Friday's high, and we have the Friday's low around 1.0872. Now, take a look at the slow line; it's sloping to the downside of fast line, just correcting. So. After this consolidation or so, there will be a chance of potential downside move. The break of this uh, support uh, will be a good sign for the further drop on the euro towards 1.0797 or even this lower Bollinger Band around 1.0707 mark. Let's take a look at the four hour. You can see here market traded lower, no significant reaction from buyers, just a natural pullback. So potentially after this. Uh, consolidation slash correction uh, we can potentially see the downside continuation uh, maybe around this middle Bollinger Band but this area here is also important uh, swing low which uh, can act like resistance so this area can be a good resistance for euro and downside moment now we have US 30 so on the US 30, we are still trading in, within the Bollinger Bands and the key supporter on the US 30 is 300 
85.13. In case of the downside breakout, there will be a chance for a further drop towards the 33,000, upper than 38,038. A fast line uh, did a fresh pair across this point and is sloping to the downside. Uh, key resistance is at the 39,290 mark. Middle Bollinger Band so far at 38,891. And gold market, this was our main trading idea. This is the trading idea that um, I posted last week. Um, this uh, protective stop basically at 2182 held pretty well. Uh, market didn't hit that, and here we are at uh, around 2148. Uh, uh, we are trading lower. Uh, if you check the daily time frame, there was this is the pullback that I was um, uh, I alerted about potential this pullback to the middle Bollinger Band, and so far we are you can see that that is actually happening. So now we have a middle Bollinger Band at 21. 19 and the previous swing high around 2092 a slow and fast line is sloping to the downside from pretty, pretty bad, like overbought area so let's take a look at the four hour time frame we can see the market is closing finally close we had a close below the lower bollinger band we start to build some lower highs and lower lows so and um, i don't see any kind of any sign of the bigger strength or any bigger divergence so there will be a chance after this smaller correction or so for a downside continuation on the on the gold market, at least from my perspective, towards the middle Bollinger Band on the daily around 2018, and then potentially even to 2092 area, and so on and so forth. So, downside potential on on the gold market and dollar index just around the middle Bollinger Band. So after the extension to the downside, we had a reaction towards the middle Bollinger Band, and this would be a critical area if we can. Hold above the 100 350, and uh, if we don't just test and reject, if we can see the upside moment, you can see the fast line is sloping upside and the slow line turning into the to the upside as well from pretty much oversold area. So there will be a definite chance for the further rally towards 104 15 and even upper Bollinger Band around 104 40 mark in case of the break of 100 350, and if we can hold above that level. You can see for our time frame, we can see that market look at the volatility that is increasing and hourly time frame pretty much tight contraction. So break of this 10345 or so can be a strong sign for the further upside continuation. Let's take a look at Bitcoin versus US dollar. So we had a pullback towards the middle Bollinger Band, and we can see the Bollinger Bands here are contracting. Um, because we had a, quite a big volatility at this point, so market is naturally now the natural pullback and now had a thing more like a consolidation. And you can see the Bollinger banner started to contract. Let's take a look at the lower time lower time frame. So we uh, had the finally break of this lower Bollinger band and hold below. So so far we're building lower highs and lower lows, and that's a good sign and first sign that. There'll be a chance for even further drop, maybe even towards the um, this spin bar area. So let's see this spin bar area at this point. So all the way to sixty thousand mark, sixty thousand mark, and sixty one thousand mark. That can be in the play like a next downside objective on Bitcoin. This looks like a natural pullback. I don't see any bigger a bull divergence or anything significant. Or the, something bigger to the upside, so there will be a chance for a down, another downside swing. And that will be all for uh, this um, FX Centrum uh, daily market analysis. Uh, if you didn't visit our website, um, you can do so by you know fxcentrum.com, and um, you can explore our promotions, 100% uh, deposit bonus uh, or FX CTV. Um, we have a training idea section, tutorials, technical analysis. Uh, there will be many, many, many new things in the future. So uh, subscribe on our YouTube channel. And uh, also you can open an account just a few clicks um, and um, uh, become part of our Epic Centrum uh, family. So uh, 
that will be all for today uh, and um, have a good uh, trading day and um, see you soon.